Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hello there. Welcome back. This will be for Amos chapter 7. Amos relates how he was called of God to be a prophet. The prophecies, the captivity of, he prophesies the captivity of Israel. Chapters 7 through 9 have five visions. 1 through 4 show the judgments of the Lord upon Israel. Number 5 deals with the overthrow of their apostate religion and the restoration of fallen Israel. The first three visions in verses 1 through 9 have Amos as a Moses or intercessor on behalf of Israel. He pleads their case and the Lord relents the first two times. Number one uh, is grass. Verse, verse one, thus saith the Lord God, showed vision unto me, and behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the, of the latter growth, and lo, it was the latter growth after the king's Jehovah's mowings. The second growth is the latter days. Mowing equals judgments. Latter growth is prosperity. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. And the Lord said concerning Jacob, Jacob shall repent for this, therefore I will not utterly destroy him, saith the Lord. Number two, the fire. Verse 4, Thus hath the Lord God showed vision unto me, and behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and did eat up a part. Israel's wars, some are captured. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. And the Lord said concerning Jacob, Jacob shall repent of his wickedness, therefore I will not utterly destroy him, saith the Lord God. Number three, the master builder. Verse seven, thus showed me, thus he showed me, or in vision, and behold, the, the Lord stood upon a wall made, made by a plumb line with a plumb line in his hand, a common military intelligence technique to determine the necessary sizes of siege engines, ladders, scaling ropes, etc. Also, all wickedness will be sought out, measured, or judged, and destroyed. Verse 8, And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in, in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not again pass by them any more. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Amos did not plead for Israel this time. In the first two instances, no one of Israel would be spared. In the third one, a remnant will be spared. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, went to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee Flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel or sanctuary, and it is the king's court. The calling of Amos is a prophet. Verse 14, Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was an herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. Now therefore hear, hear thou the, the word of the Lord. Thou sayest, Prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Amaziah said not to prophesy against Israel, so now Amos prophesies against Amaziah. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of, this, of his land. He again states that Israel will go, in, will go into exile against Amaziah's orders. When uh, Amos mentions about his being called as a prophet, notice that he was a herdman, not a professional prophet. Um, but he was called as, uh, as he had another profession, just like our prophets today. President Nelson, having been a surgeon in a, before he was called to be an apostle. Anyway, that's the end of chapter 7. We'll see you next time. Bye.